Welcome back to the Magical Tales of the Runaround Game. I'm your host, the Musical Gamer, and welcome back to Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne. We're back in Ginza because in order to complete the fourth Kalpa, we need to go visit a specific demon back at Nyx's Lounge. So, let's go do that. And we need to go collect the star key from said demon. I'm gonna get... Why did I just dismiss him? God damn it, game. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys three guesses as to who it is that we're going to go see. Is it Nyx? No. No, it's not. Is it this blue soul over here? No. No, it's not. Is it this blue soul over here? No, it's not. You lose. Thank you for playing. Goodbye. It's Loki. As if you guys couldn't figure that out. Oh, you again. What? The star key? <laughs> it's in my stomach. As a liquor, of course. I sold it to a curious mannequin. I needed the money since my room was raided. Know what I mean? <laughs> okay. He's officially creepy. He's officially creeping me out. So he sold it to some specific mannequin, apparently. Great. So now we need to go find this mannequin. Where else could we possibly find this mannequin? Well, I'll give you one guess. It's where the mannequins gathered the most. So now we need to go all the way over to Asakusa. And get the key from a mannequin over here. Huh. <sighs> Now, I need to remember which mannequin it was exactly. Is it the mannequin over here? Or is it the other one? You guys know who I'm talking about by other one. D dummy Keep it up and buy more- What? I did- What? Dummy- Uh, he didn't give it to me, did he? Uh, oh, he did. That's it. <laughs> star key. We got the star key. All right. Now we get to go back to the Kalpa. However, not exactly to where you would think we would be going, because we're not going back to the fourth Kalpa. No. The, to complete the fourth Kalpa is even a more contrived and convoluted pattern of events we have to do. After we get the star key, we get back to the Labyrinth of Mala. Thank God. We're done with the runarounds outside of the Labyrinth now. However, we're not done with the runarounds inside the Labyrinth. You might notice I'm jumping through the hole to go to the third Kalpa. There's a reason for that. The reason being is that where we need to go is not in the fourth Kalpa. No, it's in the freaking third Kalpa. From what you could probably have gathered by the information that we got while we were still in the fourth Kalpa, the star key works much like the moon key, in that it opens specific doors. Where the moon key opened up silver doors, the- ooh jeez. The- oh god. Oh! Oh! Whew. The- the star- ow. The star key opens up golden doors. Now there is a golden door in- There's a golden door. Oh my god, I just got my ass handed to me by fireballs. There's a golden door here in the third Kalpa. Is basically what I've been trying to say. How am I not, like, near death? I don't even know. Heal me, throne. Please. I need it. The door for the star key is here. In the third Kalpa. So, what we need to do... Is we need to get ourselves over to an area I guess I'll go to the right um, we need to get ourselves to a ladder to go down a floor so let's go do that and go through this door <laughs> go through this door I guess I wonder if I even really needed to do that probably oh well, yeah cuz I just Wrap around here, and here's a ladder. I think. Yes, ladder.
And now we are back in this central room. If we go to the south, lo and behold, a boss battle. No, <laughs> just kidding. It's uh, just a random battle. But lo and behold, the golden door for the star key. I think this is the only time you use the star key, really. And now we have to jump through another hole. I, I don't even know what the developers were on when they were making the level design for this. Because this is just ridiculous. How you're supposed to figure all of this out. Oh, jeez. Oh. Nuts, 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 nuts. Uh. How? Whoa. I mean, yeah, give me the, give me the maca. Oof. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy Jesus. Yikes. Oh, god damn it. Ow. 148 maca, that's not too bad. And through here. We're back, we're now back in the fourth kalpa. And now there's a switch. Will we activate the switch? Yes. Yes, we will. The switch has been activated. And now this door has been opened. And that door over there is the end and exit to the fourth kalpa. Now we need to go all the way back from where we came, and I will meet you guys back at the, um, that le when we were going through the 12 corridors of pain, misery, and woe, or whatever it was, the 12 endless corridors, uh, that portal that then, once we got through it, that led to this ladder down, I'm gonna meet you guys there, because that's where we need to go to keep continuing. So, I'll see you guys in a second, as soon as I make my way all the way around again. So, I'll see you guys then. All right, I'm back. We made it to the ladder. And now where do we go? Aha, straight ahead is <laughs> is the exit. But let's take a look at these rooms first off before we head straight there. Uh, oh God, there's um. Oh dear, there's an. Abaddon there. That could be quite dangerous, especially since now that everybody... You know, your longer is more worrisome, the fact that it doesn't have his magic. No, oh, this isn't... Those things are weak to that kind of thing? Huh. Never knew that. Alright, bolt storm it up. Aha! Very, very nice. Uh, you, yeah, just attack, I guess. Ow! Ow! You don't need to do that, Abaddon. Don't appreciate it, but you give so much experience. Oof, so worth it. Gee, you look what? No! No, 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 no. No. After all of that work, I am not, I repeat, not going to be sent back to the beginning. Do I have no... Oh, what? I'm, I'm looking right at my dismutes and I don't even see them. That's, wow. Great going there, gamer. Really, really paying attention here. Ooh, cash cube. A tetrajar rock. Eh, okay. Not the worst thing to find, I suppose. Hey, you activated the switch. Now you can move on. Good luck. Thanks. He would have told you about the switch if you came down here without uh, prior knowledge. But anyway, this is it. We made it through the fourth kalpa at long last. Now, let's look through the peephole. At last, 
You have restored all of the candelabra to the rightful places. I promised earlier that I would answer all of your questions, sparing no detail. It may have occurred to you that the candelabra were not, in fact, stolen. In truth, my master gave them to those whom he deemed worthy. I must apologize for not being honest with you, but there is a reason. If you listen to what I have to say, I am sure you will understand. The forces of light and darkness have fought throughout the universe, even beyond the flow of time. The battles have affected every living being, being in existence. Demons and humans are no exception. They have simply been cogwheels in the infernal machine called war. And the war still rages on, even as we speak. However, one individual vowed to put an end to this eternal war. He decided to create a demon of chaos, one that would inherit his will and enter the final battle against the forces of light. The fiends were prepared for the creation of that demon. He believed that by challenging and overcoming death, the demon would become the fruit of destruction, the black hope that we awaited for so long. That is what he and my master planned. The fiends and the labyrinth of Amala were ordeals meant to test you. One fiend challenged you, unaware of the truth, while another fiend fell to you dreaming of a future of chaos. Yes, this was all in preparation for the final battle. You have vanquished all of the fiends, and now you stand here just as he hoped. A demon with the strength to become the champion of chaos. Gamer, will you lend your strength to us? For the sake of all who live in darkness? I cannot force you to help us. If you choose to walk the path of a human, then there is no need for you to return here. But, if you have doubts about the laws of the universe about fate, or the providence of the Absolute One, then you should come to us, at the very bottom of the labyrinth. There you shall be born again as a full demon, body and soul. Let me conclude by telling you about a human who has crossed your path, one who is drifting, being kept alive by fate. It is my master's wish that you listen before deciding upon a path to take. The man I am referring to you was known as Hejiri in your previous world. He died, but as fate would have it, he carried on in the Vortex world. Think back to when you first met him. To when the conception occurred. Yes, he did lose his life, like all the others. As he was heading to the hospital where you already were, the conception began, and his life ended. Did it not seem odd to you that he was in the Vortex world unaffected, unchanged? It was all because of the mortal sin which he committed. He was being toyed with by fate, condemned to carry the burden of atonement forever. His punishment was to see with his own eyes all that happens in the world. To record the balance of events through all the ages. A task as endless as scooping water out of the sea with a cup. He was condemned to wander the infinite span of time. Man can change the course of his next life by his karma. But that privilege was taken away from Hijiri. Though his body may perish, his soul will remain unsaved. He must continue on with his task. He lives a cursed eternal life, just like a demon. Watch and record the history of the world, 
witness the entirety of the endless war between order and chaos. That is your punishment for your unforgivable sin. Do you understand now? By the will of Amala, he was given a life of torment, and emerged in the Vortex world without realizing that he had died. Soon after, your paths crossed again. That is probably because you have the potential to affect the course of the new world. So by accompanying you, he has unknowingly been fulfilling his destiny. Tragically, he has no memory of his sin, his punishment, or even his death. He believes that he survived the conception and has acted accordingly. As for the result of his efforts, you already know the outcome. In the body of a mannequin, Hijri challenged those vying for creation, and he lost his body once again. He is now on a journey to a new land of suffering, but his will can never be freed, and his sin never redeemed. Do you want your life to be predestined as well, or would you rather choose your own actions? If you do not wish to be ruled by destiny, if you would prefer to walk with demons on a new, untrodden path, then please come visit my master. You can open the door ahead with the candelabrum I gave you. Will you come meet my master? I understand that it is difficult for you to make a decision right now. There is still time. If you decide to help my master, please come back to this place. We will wait here as long as the flow of Amala permits. Until then. Oof, woof. That is some pretty heavy stuff. Um, why is the path still blocked? Do I have another thing to see? Oh, uh, yeah, sure, why not? Um, I'm assuming there's another scene for me to see. What's the matter, Naoki? My master is resting right now. That's a very rare item that you have there. It's called the afterlife well. Oh, okay. This scene. It has the power to resurrect wandering souls. I thought it was still hidden in the labyrinth of Amala. A mannequin must have stolen it and fled, in hopes of returning to the vortex world. Speaking of which, do you know how mannequins are born? They are originally fragments of human emotions that acquire physical form and become strength. Story time again. When the conception took place, Tokyo was purged of humans. It was a necessary step toward the rebirth of the world. But even after they died, their souls lingered, and likewise, their emotions. Weak emotions dissipated instantly, but strong ones remained. Those emotions sought re receptacles and found refuge in the substance closest to life. Earth. They managed, they merged with the earth and took shape one after another. For some, they became what they longed to be. For others, a side of them that they abhorred surfaced. Human emotions became mannequins and inhabited the Vortex world. Creation is forbidden to them, and their very existence will be denied once the new world has been born. But... Some mannequins have possessed exceptional strength. 
If you bring them back to life with the afterlife bell, they might join you and help you on your journey, even if it's only for a short while. It's worth a try. I think it's time for you to go back, Naoki. There are still things you have to do. So in case you guys were wondering, which uh, demons it was, why is the path still blocked? But um, the souls that we rescued with the afterlife bell were the souls of Futomimi and Sakahagi. They are now fusible. So yes, we can actually now fuse them. Uh, is there another scene for me to see? I would appreciate it if we can just get this show on the road. You have returned, Naoki. Have you decided to come meet my master? Uh, yes, I guess so. Then we will be waiting in the deepest part of the labyrinth. I will open the way to the last door. Please use the candelabrum and come see us. We look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, okay. I guess I have to say yes in order to keep going. This uh, doesn't change anything in terms of your reason or your alignment. So you can do this. It's no problem. I just thought I could be, you know, dramatically indecisive or something. <laughs> so, which is why I chose the dot, 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 dot answer. But okay, the door is open. Let's jump through the hole. Down to, well, what you guys might have seen coming. The fifth culpa. But we have to go through this first. Oh, jeez. Backwards flying. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Backwards flying money. It's like the game is trying to screw with me. That's a that's a joke. The game has always been trying to screw with me. Oh, jeez. I Ow. Ooh. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. Holy crap. Ooh, we got through there. Oh, jeez. Got 190 manka. And... The fifth kalpa. The final kalpa. With one pedestal. There's a huge pedestal. Will we light the candelabrum of sovereignty? The candelabrum that we were given. And the answer is yes. We will. Because with that lit candelabrum, all the candelabra have been lit. And all kalpas are now open to us. Note that if you complete the fifth kalpa, you will get a completely different ending that you will be locked into. And it has the hardest fight in the game after the main boss of the game. So if that doesn't interest you, I recommend you don't complete the kalpa. There's still some stuff in there for us to do without completing the kalpa, more specifically right in the beginning. But I will save that for another day because this was cutscene city today after we finally got the star key and all that other stuff. So next time on Let's Play Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne, we'll go do something else. What that something else is, well, I'll decide off screen. <laughs> There's quite a bit for us to do, actually. So, this is the Musical Gamer signing off. See you guys next video.